Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. And today, I'm going to be reviewing some computer tech. More specifically, an illuminated gaming keyboard and mouse combo, which I picked up on Amazon, and which is made by a company called Bucked. Now, this seems to be a brand that has offered several different models over the years, because if you look at other YouTube reviews, you will notice the mouse and keyboards from this company all look different, depending on the reviewer. Anyway, this is what they had on Amazon DE in December 2022. I paid around 30 euros for this, which is the budget range for gaming keyboards, but the fact that you get a mouse too made this a really interesting deal. I did send this back though because I had ordered a Quartz layout, and they sent me a QWERTY layout instead. But for all my English viewers, let's talk about the actual quality and features of the keyboard itself, and then we'll check the mouse. So this is what the keyboard looks like during daylight. It can pass for an office keyboard and doesn't look too flashy. The Bucked logo is above the arrow keys, and the spacebar is quite broad, which in turn means you don't get much of a palm rest. The mouse is advertised as having a seven-colored breathing feature and 3600 dpi. Unfortunately, the cable is plastic. I have seen other setups in this price range that offer braided cables. And this is what the back of the keyboard looks like. You can see it has an interesting looking honeycomb texture and several holes, which I assume are for any liquid that spills on the keyboard to drain out. So yeah. Here is a look at the bottom of the mouse. And I forgot to mention, you can, of course, prop this keyboard up using these two stands. And this is what the mouse clicks sound like. So here's what the keyboard looks like when it is in use. It's not too bright, but not too dark either. And here you can see how the mouse is illuminated. The six button marketing term looks a bit unnecessary, but for that, I love the logo here. There's also a nice symmetry to the lighting and you can see it's changing color very slowly. Additional lights to the side here. Here once again on the keyboard you can see the Bucked logo is illuminated and there's six colors in total, basically an RGB pattern repeated twice. So as it's only three main colors repeating twice, we get five different colors in total, because where the blue meets the red we get some pink, and where the green meets the blue, we get some cyan. And if we look closely, you can see there's sufficient space between the individual keys to really see the backlight, which, to be honest, feels like one giant rubber mat. And a good indicator of why people call these membrane keyboards, rather than the much more expensive clickety-clackety mechanical keyboards. Downside is, if it gets dirty over time, you'll be able to see the dirt between the keys a lot more clearly. Also, right here you can see the drain holes. So yeah, it certainly looks good. Although the multimedia keys at the very top are unlit and very hard to read. Here under the flash you can see what they're supposed to represent. You've got a button that opens the My Computer folder, also known as This PC in more recent Windows. You've got your default browser and email client, as well as opening up the search bar in the Start menu. And then on the other side, you've got your multimedia keys like the Play Pause button, Mute, Volume Down, and Volume Up, and a key to bring up the calculator. One thing that sucks about this keyboard, though, 
is that the num lock, caps lock, and scroll lock lights are way too dim, especially when viewed from an angle like you would when the keyboard is in front of you. They're only visible when you view them head on. And now for the typing test. Give it a listen. The keys feel okay, but the spacebar and enter key feel a bit plasticky and wobbly. But perhaps the real downside of this particular product is that the mouse never shuts off. Like you can see right now, I've put my computer into sleep mode, but the mouse is still turned on, while the keyboard isn't. I even tested this when turning off the computer and the mouse is still on. And while you can manually turn off the lights on the keyboard using the lamp key, you cannot turn off the mouse unless you unplug it. Now this may be a driver issue with my PC or I got a defective mouse, but if others have this problem too, then this product is simply trash. So, to summarize, I sent it back for two good reasons. Although I have to say I did like the way the mouse felt in my hand, and how responsive and precise it was. Shame about it not turning off, though. So, if you found this review helpful, leave a thumbs up and have a great day. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.